Hey guys, how you doing? Brian Holder here, Brian Holder Graphic Design. Got a quick tutorial for you here. I'm working on a client website. Her name is Miss Sandy, and she does music classes for children. Uh, and I'm building a contact form on her contact page for her, and I'm going to be doing a success page. So what I want to do is have, when uh, somebody submits the contact form, have them sent to a page with a like a pop-up window that says, congratulations, you sent the, you've sent the, the message, and then uh, you would hit an X to close that out. So I'm going to show you how to do that real quick. Uh, I'm going to do that using a layer, actually, uh, of anything. Uh, so what I'm going to do is go over to the Advanced tab here in the sidebar. I'm going to grab the Layer tool, and I'm going to drag out an area that is uh, yeah, about the size of a decent-sized pop-up window. I'm not sure how big I want it yet, but that doesn't really matter. So I'm just going to drag that out, and the first thing I'm going to do is go in and change the colors here around a little bit. So I'm going to use... Uh, this light green color is part of the theme that I've been working with and, and typically uh, everything goes from a gradient from this light color down to this dark color that I'm going to use for the border. And I also want to add a box shadow to give it the impression that this is sitting uh, up on the surface. So I'm not sure how big I want the shadow to be. I'm going to try 25. It's, um, it's a little bit much, but it's not terrible. I think I'm going to stick with it. I think I'm going to go with that. So that's it for the layer. Now what we're going to do is add a little bit of text into here. And if you haven't seen my Google Web Fonts tutorial, you need to go back and check that out because I am using a Google Web Font right now called uh, Coming Soon. So we're going to stretch this out a little bit. And we're just going to say thank you. Okay, so I'm going to center all of this text up, make it look uh, a little bit better here. We're going to make this a little bit bigger. I like it. Uh, I'm actually going to get rid of that space. And for the color, we're going to go with the dark green in my theme here. I actually have a darker green that I use up here. I may go with that, actually. A little bit more contrast. And I think that's it there. Yep. Just going to center this up inside of that layer real quick. And now what we need to do is add a close button. So we can do this number of ways. I'm just going to use uh, a shape because I know that there's a nice little X uh, in the shapes here that we can use for a close button. Just got to go through and find it. I think it's up oh, there. It is. It's perfect. It's beautiful. I love it. Um, so for this, I think I'm going to go with a lighter color. I'm going to try white and then I'm going to give it that real dark border, that dark green again. And we are going to enable a hover mode on it. And we're going to let it go to this darker green when we hover. And we'll keep the dark, uh, dark green border. That way people know it does something when they hover over it. And we're going to annihilate that. Okay. Now it's a huge X, right? Um, so here's a quick little tip for you. If you hold down the shift key while you scale this, uh, it will keep it in scale. Because right now it's 100 by 100, which means that the image is a perfect square. So if you try to just scale this like this, you can see that that changes. Uh, if you want to keep it in perfect square, just hold down the shift key and then scale it. And you can see no matter where I move my mouse to, it stays in a perfect square. So I'm going to get it down to maybe about that size there. And I'm going to drop that up here in the upper right corner where everybody already knows to look for it. And let's see if it looks, yeah, it looks pretty good. I like it. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to add an event to this. And what the event's going to do is, is, is going to delete, basically hide the layer that we just created. So there's all kinds of options in here for events. What we want is on click, which means that when somebody clicks on that button, here's what's going to happen, the action. We're going to hide. There's all kinds of different actions you can pick. You can play uh, music in the background. You can animate an object. Um, you can set a JavaScript function, but we're going to hide an object. And the target is what we want to hide, and that's our layer, layer number one. Okay. Hit OK. And I thought we should have some more options here. I'm not sure what happened. Oh, you know what? That's because I hit hide. What I want to do is hit hide with effect. And now what that's going to do is allow me to choose, uh, you know, kind of a nice fancy little effect when this thing hides. So uh, I typically like to go with a fade. 
and I'm going to leave all the settings as they are, 500, because it's, it's sort of fast, but it's not that fast. It's enough for you to be able to tell if there was some sort of a fancy effect going on. And we're just going to click OK, and now we're going to go take a look at what this uh, looks like. If you didn't get a chance to check out my master frame tutorial on YouTube, I would check that out too, because as you see right now, boom, this is inside of a master frame. Okay, so now, assuming that somebody had just filled out this form uh, underneath, this would be the very next page that they landed on. And so you can see this is what they would see, a kind of a pop-up box that says, thank you, uh, you know, I've received your message and I'll be in touch soon. And then a box to close that. When you click it, boom, it's gone. So that was this tutorial. If you like this tutorial, please give it a thumbs up. It makes me want to do more of these for you. And check, it, check me out on my website, bjholder.com slash WWB. That's where I'm putting all of these uh, WYSIWYG Web Builder 8 tutorials. And also I got a couple other gems in there. Um, I don't think I have that many yet, but I'm working on it. So, so stay tuned. Alrighty, and we'll catch you on the next episode. Thanks.